Hey guys, this is Ian with Team Legit. We got Josh on the camera. What? And uh, we just got Nanodrax in. Uh, so this guy in the center, this completes the uh, right wing RC uh, Drac family. Um, I thought we would just do a basic size comparison video. You guys can get an idea of the scale of these aircraft because when you look at the numbers, they don't actually seem that different. But as you can see in the flesh, there's a tremendous difference between each one of these aircraft. Uh, we have the uh, Daddy Drac, or just the Drac. Um, this guy is 62 inches um, and just very hefty, can carry a ton, can actually fit a DSLR into it if you really want to. Um, we have the Mini Drac, which is about 40 inch wingspan. Um, this guy, way lighter, way smaller than the Big Drac, but you can still fit a full size GoPro in it. Um, you can still fit um, a, a fair amount of kind of extra equipment depending on what your project might be. And then the nano drag in the middle here uh, is actually a 28 inch span. Um, and uh, you can still squeeze a session in there if you really want to as far as HD cameras go. But most guys are running this, uh, if they're running HD, they're running um, like one of the newer hybrid cameras or one of the uh, split style uh, FPV HD cameras in it. Um, or just something sub GoPro size. So each one of these aircraft is actually offered with an extended wing kit and the Nanodrac is no different. These extended wings are actually molded this time around, unlike the other two. And you can actually purchase the kit either as uh, the stock aircraft with the 28 or you can purchase it just directly with the 40s or you can get the deluxe kit which actually includes both wing kits. You have the option to build both and then install whichever mood you're in. So depending on which of these wings you install, you're going to get a very different flying experience out of your nano drag. Uh, the 28 inch wings are going to have a wide speed envelope but they're going to be more speed oriented. Um, so if you want that 100 mile an hour plus setup with a big high kV motor on it, um, definitely the 28 inch wings are going to be your, your choice. The longer wings are definitely going to be your more uh, long endurance, long range oriented. Um, they're still going to have a relatively top, high top end, not as high as the short wings. Uh, but they're really going to slow down to a crawl when you want it to. We think it's going to be really cool to see uh, how much range and endurance uh, people are going to get out of these aircraft. In fact, I see a little uh, competition brewing uh, once people get their hands on these. So for battery and motor, again, you have a lot of options with the Nanodrac here. Uh, you could go all the way down to like a 2206 mini quad motor uh, if you wanted a more um, lightweight setup. And you could go all the way up to a 2217 or maybe even a 2221. Uh, for that uh, high speed. Um, you're looking at probably a five to a six inch prop and uh, battery wise um, you're looking at probably like a three cell 2200 honestly would work very well here. Uh, four cell 1800. As a general rule of thumb with these aircraft uh, the mini is going to take about double the battery and motor as the little guy and the big guy is going to take about double the battery and motor of the mini. So the internal structure of the nano drag very similar to both the mini and the large drag. You've got your long central bay and then two saddle bays. Uh, the Nano, of course, is going to be the smallest, but as FPV goes forward in time, everything gets smaller. So although this would be very cramped for equipment of old, um, as far as modern receivers, modern VTXs go, you can fit these in this aircraft no problem. For a flight controller, if you wanted to go that route, you could fit the micro vector, no problem. But this would also be a great candidate for the iNav flight controllers that are becoming more popular. Um, the wing power boards that are coming with, for example, the Brain FPV flight controllers. Most of the build process on the nano track is the same as the mini and the large. Uh, we have our carbon spars going through the middle, uh, reinforced with fiberglass spars uh, based on the fuselage and the wings. If you put either of these together, this guy's gonna be a breeze. If this is your first one, there are a number of build tutorials on the internet for uh, the Mini and Large, and they're gonna to apply to this guy just as well. So guys, Nanodrax are live on our site right now. Uh, we're shipping them out as fast as you can order them. There's an optional boom kit that you can order with this aircraft, we have those as well, uh, and a variety of other spare parts. We're gonna be assembling a number of these aircraft in the near future for you guys who are more keen on flying than building. A number of the guys at the shop here are also gonna be building them for their personal fleets, and we should have some videos coming out soon of these aircraft flying and uh, us having a ton of fun with them. All right, guys, again, my name is Ian. This is Team Legit. If you have any questions about these aircraft, feel free to hit us up either in the comments of this video, by email or telephone. I know some people still use those. They're really helpful. Um, let us know. Thanks for watching.